introduce you to animating in Maya I'm just going to do a simple animation and import it into our unity project to show you guys how it all works and how we can export it properly so first things first this is the animation timeline all right so uh, we can scroll through it using this bar here I can shrink the bar and then scroll through the timeline and when we click play only the frames that are uh, displayed on this timeline will be played so to frame 19 in this case it's quite important. Click and drag on the timeline to switch frames. You can sh hold shift and then you can select uh, multiple frames. So if we wanted to delete all the keyframes, you can press delete there if you want to. So handy things to do. And if you want to mess about with any of these uh, preferences, click this button here. So it goes to the animation preferences and stuff. So you can change the size of these and stuff like that. Um, so to actually animate, I'm just going to make this go to a default position and on frame 0 set a keyframe so it remembers the position so in your animation preset click the keyframe button so things go red here and there's a red line here to show its keyframe um, by the way guys in the previous video I was making controls for the thumb to point them in the right direction but it's going outside the scope of the video a bit so all I decided to do was make the IK handles a bit bigger and to do that just go to display uh, where is it? Animation IK handle size, and then we can drag the size up and down. So, a lot more simple, a lot simpler than uh, making controls. So, it's quite easy to do. So, we're at frame one. We want our next frame to be at frame 24, let's say, one second in. Let's uh, make another keyframe, and I want the guy to go for the gun. So, grab the gun. Yeah, put it about there, let's say. That looks pretty cool. Um, so as we scroll through, yeah, it transitions between the keyframes. So again, let's go to frame 48, set another keyframe, and go back to the position he was in before. So I've gone off track a bit there. <laughs> um, I do so. Maya remembers the keyframe points and transitions transitions between them. So I want to play the whole animation. So let's uh, drag this out to show the whole frame and. Uh, go back to frame zero press play boom grab the gun go back down alright guys say we wanted to um, animate the hand and the gun together we can we could select the gun and uh, select the IK handle and just parent them press P to parent and uh, as you can see now <laughs> the gun goes with it so we could use that in the future when we want to grab something and then we could parent it to begin with and then play it like that uh, nice little tricks. So let's double check. It's not go back a few times. Okay, so right, that's our animation. Um, let's go back to frame zero now and import it into Unity. So I just want to click these two things. Go to File, Export Selection. Let's select these two things: the mesh and the the bones. Um, Let's go to our project, Mountainside Complete. Uh, I've made an animations folder. Let's just call this arm grab just to show you guys what to do. So, what was I going to do? So, um, where's the animation? There it is. Within the file type specific options, guys, animation, um, extra options. Uh, that's the one, bake animation. We want to bake it so we can bake the constraints and stuff. So, uh, the animations actually work so remember to do that and export the selection so arm grab is now it's doing it okay so complex animation baked um, that's fine everything will work well I think so here it is in Maya uh, Unity sorry and uh, as you can see I can set up some animations here I've, I should have deleted these out actually so we can set up an idle animation one to two, we could do that just once. We don't it to loop, and uh, we can call this one grab, where it actually grabs it. So frame two to forty-eight, and just for um, an example, I'm going to loop this and loop it. All right, guys, remember to um, oh, I don't need to apply it. It's, it's a bit weird. So I think that's how it was in to begin with, anyway. So um, let's drag it into the scene. It's really small and I haven't resized it, so let's just resize things. Find it. 
everything's working, our textures there, that's really good. And uh, here's our animation preferences within the game object in our hierarchy. So I want it to play the grab animation. See if this works. Play automatically. Yep, I want it to do that. And let's see if it works. And uh, that's our animation, guys. We can control this through scripting if we wanted to. So that's what we'll do in our game. But it's as simple as that. That's how we're going to animate, guys. Um, very easy to import, and it looks pretty good in Unity. Even though we got a warning in Maya, if I can find it. <laughs> Even though we got a warning, things work pretty well still. And that's it, guys. I'm going to save that out. I'm going to delete this um, from my scene. <laughs> And uh, one more thing, I'm just going to delete all these frames, all these keyframes, delete, alright, now our animation's not there, boom. Just a little um, tip I want to show you guys, say we want to put it this, the arm in this position but I don't like the way this is bending, what we can do is uh, select the mesh and then go to our paint skin weights tool and then as we paint the actual thing will deform in real time so we know what it looks like in this position so um, I should have opened the uh, attributes but I'll do that now say we don't want any well say we do want weights here we can go back down to the value bring it up bring the opacity up and as you can see as I paint the mesh deforms as well so we know what it will look like in that position so really handy tip because I think before I uh, before I edited this it was like that and I was like that's that's uh, too thin so I put the value down played about a bit went up a bit and it came out pretty well so just a little tip guys um, and that's it for this video so thanks for watching guys I'm gonna uh, do some real animations for our game and then we can go back into unity code them out and play with the camera and stuff and then do the game so thanks for watching hopefully see you in the next video